hot and you get sweaty and you get tired. It's definitely hard on your body physically. It's very rigorous, it's demanding. A lot of it is like, you know, footwork. It's almost like tap, but better. <laughs> and it's, you know, you have like the skirts. The colors, the, the partner dances, the solo dances, the music is fantastic. There's, it's just such a spectacle. Moving your body in a way where you can tell a story and tell history. You're telling a story and you have to represent it well. Each region or each state from Mexico that we danced to has a different style and you have to, you have to act almost when you're dancing. I kind of find that harder for me than the steps. People see these dances and it shows them this, this side of Mexican culture that they maybe haven't seen before. I am one of the, the minority in the city. I'm one of maybe five or six Hispanics in my grade. At my school, you could probably fit all the Latinos in a small room. I hate to admit this, right? But growing up, I was always kind of, I internalized a lot of like the racism. I would always get told like, oh, you're too dark, or you'd be pretty if you're a white, you know, like that kind of thing. And so I hated being Mexican. When I was introduced to this, I began to feel really beautiful. For me, it's a way to connect to the side that I have. I might have thought that that Mexicans and Mexican Americans had to look a certain way. They had to be they had to be darker. They had to have dark hair, and they needed to speak Spanish. And I was none of those things. So this is my kind of cultural through line. Being able to kind of express myself through this and show other people this is what I represent as the minority here, it's kind of helped me find out who I am. When people see a stance, they see a part of Mexico. And especially like, for example, my grandma or my aunts or my mom, when they see me, like they always end up crying because it's a part that, it's something that they left behind, that they used to do when they were little, but they don't anymore. They, they remember their, their childhood, and they remember, they remember all the happy times. And so for me, it's something that I can do for somebody else. Being able to do that for people is just such a compelling and profound feeling. It's so important right now uh, because there's a lot of people who are feeling scared, they're feeling like maybe their lives or their rights are at, at stake. Doing these dances and being a part of this, this, this art form are really important because they're reminders um, that we're here and that we're a part of this fabric in, in the United States, that our stories matter and that these stories need to be told.